everyone. Whoa, look at this amazing red fire truck. This beautiful vehicle has everything that a fire truck should have. Lights, a siren, seats for the crew, a hose for putting out fires, and a ladder. But this fire truck is hiding a very special secret. It's also an amazing pizza making truck with a wood fired oven inside. This is Ben. He bought this old fire truck and spent a long time transforming it into the amazing pizza making vehicle it is today. Hello, Gecko. Hello, Ben. We need to get some cheese for our pizzas. Do you fancy a ride in the fire engine? Yes, please. This fire truck is over 60 years old. Brave firefighters would drive in this special vehicle to go and put out fires. Things worked a little differently 60 years ago in fire trucks. Look, instead of pressing a button for the siren to make a noise, Ben has to wind this lever like this. Here we are at the cheese factory to pick up some special mozzarella cheese. Hi Ben. Hi Dick. Hi Gecko. Here's mozzarella. Fantastic, thank you very much. Right Gecko, let's go make some pizzas. There's lots of things that go into making the perfect pizza, but one of them is heat. A really hot oven is what's needed, and luckily, Ben has a special wood-burning oven which uses real fire. Ben starts off with small sticks called kindling to get the fire started, before adding larger logs to make the fire bigger. Ben then safely pushes the burning logs to the back of the oven to make space for all those yummy pizzas to go in. Remember, fire is very hot and extremely dangerous, so only grown-ups should ever go near it. It takes a little while for the oven to get really hot, so Ben sets up the rest of the pizza stall. And here come some helpers to make lots of pizzas. Hi, Gecko! Hello, everyone. Let's get pizza making. Pizzas were invented in Italy. And to make pizza dough, all you need is flour, water, yeast and salt. Ben's already got some dough that he made last night. And now he's busy stretching and shaping it into pizza bases. Once the pizza base is nice and thin, Ben adds some tasty red tomato sauce and the special mozzarella cheese. Then you can put whatever topping you like on your pizza. Yum! The wooden board that the pizza is sitting on is called a paddle, and Ben can now move the pizza towards the scorching hot oven. Put it inside, and then slide the pizza off with a shake. The pizza sits right on the floor of the oven where it's super hot, over 300 degrees to be precise. Luckily, you don't have to wait long for this yummy pizza to be ready, as it only takes a minute. Wow, that looks delicious. Everyone's joining in with the pizza making. Good 
Great job, guys. Everyone's doing such an amazing job of making and eating pizzas. It's making me hungry. Hey, Gecko, we made a special pizza just for you. Oh, thank you very much. This pizza is absolutely delicious. I'm really full now, but what an amazing day we've had. Thanks very much to Ben for showing us around his wood-fired pizza engine. And thanks to all you helpers. I'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! Gecko here! And I'm so bonkers excited! Why? Because today I'm learning all about fire trucks at this amazing fire station! How cool is that? Fire trucks are used all over the world to help firefighters put out fires and rescue people who are trapped in hard to reach places. We're going to meet two different fire trucks today and we get to meet the brilliant crew members of Lim Fire Station. These amazing fire trucks and firefighters are experts at, you guessed it, putting out fires. They use these super long wiggly hoses, a bit like what we see in the garden, but super powerful. And look, they even have special masks that protect them from the heat. This is Jay, and he's the watch manager, which is what they call the leader of the team. Firefighter Hill, door number four. Also, I'd like to welcome uh, Gecko, uh, who's going to learn to be a firefighter for the day. Thanks for having me, White Watch. Well, look who's here. Blue and Green Mechanical have come to learn about fire trucks too. Make sure you two stay out of trouble, please. This is Laura and Ellen. They're both firefighters in White Watch. What are you doing now, Laura? Well, Gecko, we're getting ready for the starter shift. This involves getting all our kit out so that we're ready for any emergency that we might come across. So as you can see, Ellen's put her boots out ready. She's also got both the jackets, a helmet and the gloves. So she's ready for any emergency we might come across. Speed is always of the essence, so it's important that it's all laid out properly. Everyone, meet Andy. He's the driver of the fire truck. He's making sure everything is okay for the next emergency call-out. But what is an emergency call-out? Well, that's when people ring up and tell the firefighters they need help. And remember, it's very important to check that the truck's lights are working properly. They need to flash really brightly when the truck leaves the station to let people know help is coming. I love this fire truck. Do you know why? It's because there's so many secret places to store the amazing life-saving equipment. Look, Ellen and Laura are checking the hydraulic cutting equipment. These are like a big pair of scissors. But instead of cutting through paper, they cut through metal. Now mechanicals are going to have to stop messing around. This isn't a place for messing around, guys. We don't want to end up rescuing you, do we? Once Andy and the gang have checked that the truck is OK, Laura and Ellen need to make sure their breathing apparatus works safely. This is what they use when it gets really smoky inside a building that's on fire. It's very important 
that they can breathe clean air. Psst. Guess what, everybody? There's actually more than one fire truck in this fire station. This one here is called the ALP, which stands for Aerial Ladder Platform. Should we all say it together? Aerial Ladder Platform. Now the team use this ALP truck when they need to rescue people from places that are just way too high for the ladder. Wowzers! It sounds like someone's in trouble. Come on, Gecko, get your gear on. We've got a job. That's one of those emergency calls that we talked about a minute ago. Remember? All of the important stuff we need to know about the rescue comes through on this piece of paper. OK, all three appliances, mechanical, stuck at height, in limb. Oh no, it sounds like the mechanicals are in trouble. we better go and rescue them. Now that we've got our kit on, it's time to move out. Oh dear, it looks like those silly mechanicals are stuck at the top of that tower and can't get down. We'll have to use the ladder to go all the way up there and get them. Look at this amazing teamwork. The crew all work together to get this ladder up as quickly and as safely as possible. Oh dear, it looks like the ladder isn't quite high enough to reach the mechanicals. Hmm, now, what can we use instead? That's right, bring in the help! To make sure the help doesn't wobble, Andy and James use these controls to move these things called jacks out of the side of the truck. They look like metal legs and they stick out and lift the truck off the ground. Wow! That's really heavy, but these jacks are so strong, they stop the Alp from falling over. Whoa, look at that! It's got super strength, like super mechanical. Once the Alp is stable, which means it won't wobble, Andy jumps into the operating seat. That's the one that works the machinery. James is so brave. Look, he's going up in the cage to rescue the mechanicals. Now, because he's going up very high, he clips himself on using this harness, so he can't fall off. The harness is a bit like a belt you wear around your trousers. When you fasten it, your trousers don't fall down. OK, here goes. Up, 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 up into the sky! James is now in control of the cage, and he can move up, down, left, and right with these joysticks. Almost there. Hold on, mechanicals. We're coming to save you. 
gotcha. Phew. I'm glad those mechanicals are safe. Thanks, James and Andy. Okay, Mechanicals, I hope you learnt your lesson there. We shouldn't be climbing up towers and being silly, because we've got other people to rescue, okay? I've loved spending time with the firefighters and the amazing fire trucks today. Let's say a big thank you to all the crew here at Lim Fire Station for teaching us all about their awesome trucks. Until next time, everyone, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello, everyone. The sun is shining and I fancy a treat. Luckily, I'm spending the day with a very special ice cream van. This is Mr T and he drives his ice cream van all over the place to serve lucky people delicious ice cream. But it's not an ice cream van without music. So Gecko, when we're nearly there where we need to go, this is what we do to put the music on to let everybody know that we are nearly here. When Mr T arrives, he can move into the back of the van and serve beautiful ice cream straight away. Hi Gecko! Hello Mr T! So welcome to my van Gecko! And this is all the lovely treats that we put on the ice creams. We've got lots of different sweets. Look at these lovely snakes! From the back of this wonderful van, Mr T can create some amazing things. Slushies, hot waffles, and of course, ice creams. So what I'm going to do now is show you how we make our magic ice cream. Get out a gallon of famous ice cream, take the top off, and then we pour it into the hopper. Ice cream is made from milk, cream, eggs and sugar. Mr T's special ice cream machine is like a super fast freezer and the liquids poured into the machine are frozen in just one minute. When things are frozen, they become harder and colder than they were before. Mr T is more than just an ordinary ice cream man. He's always thinking of new ice cream ideas. So as well as making ice cream cones, he makes ice cream trays for people to share with lots of sweeties, sauces and treats on top. There's nothing that puts a smile on people's faces like a lovely ice cream from Mr T. Everyone loves ice cream vans. Grown-ups, children, and even pirates love ice cream. Wow, this all looks delicious. Ice cream and sweeties are a treat. So remember, don't ask your mummy or daddy to have them every day. What's your favourite flavour ice cream, Mr T? And my favourite ice cream is the Bubblicious Bubblegum Tray with lots of pink and blue bottles and of course the lovely Hubba Bubba Bubblies. Mr T served lots of happy customers today. But is the one person who hasn't had an ice cream yet, Mr T? So here we are in Gecko. This one's just for you. A new creation, Gecko's Gooey Green Ice Cream. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr T. So what do you think about that then, Gecko? Did you enjoy them ice creams? It was absolutely delicious, thank you. Here's two for your friends, the Mechanicals. Bye, guys. Thank you very much to the legend that is Mr T for showing us his amazing ice cream van today. 
We'll see you again soon for more Gecko's Real Vehicles. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!